Hi, this is Ray Mosolder with Mark Stibbs, 100 Bible Verses That Will Change Your Life. And we are on 67 Bible Verses That Will Change You and Me. What a contrast between 2 Kings 4 1 in the King James Version and 2 Kings 4 1 in the New International Version, which is absolutely as reliable one or the other. Now, there cried a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophets unto Elisha saying, Thy servant, my husband, is dead. And thou knowest that thy servant did fear the Lord, and the creditor is come to take unto him my two sons to be bondsmen. Second Kings 1 in the NIV. The wife of a man from the company of the prophets cried out to Elijah, Your servant, my husband, is dead, and you know that he revered the Lord, but now his creditor is coming to take my two boys as his slaves. Elisha, the prophet, was Elijah's successor. Names sound alike, Elisha, Elijah, Elijah's name means my God is salvation. At the end of his ministry, Elijah is taken up to heaven in a chariot of fire. 2 Kings 2, 11 and 12. Having grieved his mentor's departure, Elijah takes hold of the prophet's mantle given to him by Elijah and begins his ministry in the northern kingdom. Now, for 60 years, he holds the office of prophet in Israel, 892 to 832 BC. Elisha is given a double blessing by Elijah. So we find twice the number of miracles in Elisha's ministry as in his predecessors. In 2 Kings 4, Elisha performs a miracle of provision for a widow. Her two sons have become orphans. They're now fatherless. They're also in danger of being sold into slavery. Elisha supernaturally supplies a superabundance of oil for the widow and her sons so she can pay her debts and live on what remains. Elisha's conduct reveals how closely he embodies the father's compassion for the widow and the orphan. Our Heavenly Father will go to any lengths to prevent his sons and daughters becoming slaves.